What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Motorhead video. In today's video, we are actually going to start on the framework on our M3. But before we get started on that, I wanna invite you guys to hit that subscribe button and maybe drop a like. And if you don't follow us on Instagram, go check us out on Instagram at motorhead.co. We're always dropping uh, behind the scenes footage and early release stuff on our build. So if you wanna kinda of stay up to date with things that are going on around here, uh, check us out on Instagram, motorhead.co. You won't regret it. And uh, now let's get started on this build. So to cut these rails off, there's two ways to do it. The first way to do it is just chop it off and then take it to your car and start trying to guess and measure and figure out how to do it and how to cut it. Or you can do it like this. Check this out. So we make one cut right here, a very nice cut. This is going to be our weld seam. And then we make another cut right here. And we take both these pieces off and then we use this small piece right here as a template on the other car. And we lay that on there, we make a cut there, and then this piece, which we don't have to cut again, will fit perfectly on the other piece. So there's no guessing, there's no jagged weird cuts, there's nothing weird going on, you know? It's all very straightforward. So we're going to go ahead and make our cuts here on both frails. And then on the other side here, if you look in here, we are going to make our cut right here. So that will give us enough overlap on this frame rail to make it a good safe repair. Because as you guys know that on the other rail, all this is in good shape. So we can stay right in front of this bolt hole right here, hopefully. We're going to somehow do that. It's going to work, I promise. And then up here, we are simply going to take it apart at the uh, spot welds so we're going to drill all these out after we strip it down and then uh, take this entire piece off with the frame rail so that we don't have to reattach this we'll have all our factory uh, welds right here so let's jump right on it <laughs> guys so I'm ready to cut the rails on our parts car and before I do that I want to know uh, what's going on behind these rails so since this is going to be a piece that is going to be thrown away I'm going to go ahead and cut this rail to size and take this off to see what we're working with inside because I think there's uh, there's like a double wall here so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this as you can see I have a template from earlier uh, I placed it here and I'm going to go ahead and just cut it off with a grinder uh, drill out these three spot welds and peel that thing back and see what's going on in there.
guys, so we got our replacement rails cut off of the donor vehicle and we are ready to weld them on. All we have to do is grind down all the areas that are going to be touching and then hit them with some weld through primer, clamp on the rails and weld that sucker up. Now, before you actually weld it, you probably want to test fit that reinforcement bar in the front too. Indubitably. Yes, sir. Yes, we have to do that. that we have to. Good. We have to. We have to put this on. Uh, we have to put on the rebar and the cross plate. Check the square. Sure check the square, good. check the height, make sure everything is good. But honestly, I think it's probably gonna be square because if it didn't move the subframe mounts, then I think I think you're good to go. So yeah, let's just go ahead and easy. weld it up without even measuring. Yeah, and just take it off the frame and then later we'll think about it. Hey, I know a guy does only does that. He does just like that. Well, He'd be he, taking the car off the frame and you ask him, be like, Did you put the fenders on? He's like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> And he'll be back on the frame. And he's like, nah. He's like, what, what could be wrong? Everything lines up good. We still need to make fine, finer adjustments after we paint everything. But for right now, everything looks great. We slapped that old bumper on there and the headlight just to give you an idea of what the car is going to look like when it's done. Uh, I'll let you check out the inside. Everything looks pretty good. Everything lined up decent. Everything welded up. Now we just need to grind everything and paint it and do a final assembly on that. And so. V-Tune is actually going to help us, Ben, right here. He's been yeah, helping me with the frame. It looks pretty good, actually. You did a really good job. Not as good as the job I would have done, but I'm just kidding. You should have did it. See, I actually asked him to do it, and he didn't want to. Well, I, I can't really handle two frame rails at once. <coughs> That's what she said. <coughs> uh, it's funny. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, now all we have to do, really, is strip all these parts off. The good thing is we don't have to paint this hood or mess with anything, and it has the stickers. But strip everything off, trim out the hinges, the fenders, and uh, all the interior here. And then we can put that motor back in. That's what I'm super excited about because I'm kind of like, you know, kind I have kind of like fear. Yeah, I'm nervous because I don't know if it's going to run or not. So it, yeah, nervous we, slash excited, you know, to get it in there. That's why I'm trying to get this thing done as fast as possible so, so I know if I got screwed or not. <laughs> yeah, once we get it all painted, we'll start trying to get it running at least just trim it out first and then try and get it running but yeah. i think it'll crank right up bro you think so yeah i don't think there's i appreciate wrong with that the vote of confidence on our crispy cream someone commented on the last video we have hope in yuri's purchase <laughs> oh gosh i do appreciate that's, the hope that's never to everybody that has hope uh we appreciate the support this and the thing's hope. just been bad luck like from the moment i bought it it's because because i rushed into buying it i just jumped on like the first M3 that was nice that I could find, you know? Because yeah. I wanted an M3 and I wanted a nice one. And this one just seemed, if not for if not for the engine damage, this would have been a perfect purchase. Like I would have not, I would not have had to, I wouldn't have even pulled out the motor, honestly. Would have pulled all that out yeah. and replaced those ends easily. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, you can do a better job like this though, so. It, yeah, this will be cleaner. Once we are done with this, you won't even be able to tell that it was touched, you know? We're going to grind everything down real nice, do a little glaze bondo putty, 
and prime it, paint it, you know, make it look real good. We'll clean up these towers, clean everything back, paint everything real nice. Uh, unfortunately, we do have a different VIN number here now, but you know, we that's what happens when you use used parts. We could have got it from the dealer, but we didn't. So we already had the parts. Going. Yeah. And the thing is about these BMW rails is they crumple up here, so it's perfect. You know, all the original rigidity that the factory made is all there. There you go. All right, guys. So you already got all the framework knocked out on it. It's been a big project and we're making a lot of good progress very quickly. So we're really happy with that. Next episode, we're gonna get all this ground down and paint it. It's all gonna look very nice. We can start putting the motor back in there. I can't wait. This is reminding me of the black BMW we did with the motor that we took out of the parts car. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you all have a great Thanksgiving with your family. And thanks for watching our video. If you like, be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button. Also follow us on Instagram at motorhead.co for the inside scoop. Thanks for watching guys, peace.